Yeah. Well, I think it's important for people to understand uh, the, the status of the clean power plan in, in American law. Um, it's not an executive order that can be changed out by a new president coming in. It's a regulation that went through a very elaborate established process uh, that our Clean Air Act authorizes, and so it is, it's, it's law. And uh, in order for um, it to be changed, uh, any new president, the, the, the new EPA, would need to go through a similar lengthy and public process with reasoned decision making and a record uh, to take a different approach. So, um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. A another is, I know there's a lot of talk about the legal challenges that we've had. EPA gets legal challenges on almost everything that we do. Um, we have a system that allows people to do that, and, um, and, and that's fine. Um, but the Clean Power Plan, like so many rules that EPA has established over its more than 40-year history, um, is very well grounded in the principles of the Clean Air Act and in our authorities within the Clean Air Act. Um, it, is, it is not an innovative rule in that sense. And so we're confident that it's going to survive legal challenge and that, that it's on very sound footing um, and we'll work we'll work through that process well we have a we have a, a, a public budget process as well that Congress is involved in and we work through those issues with them um, and we're confident that we'll that we'll c come out on the other end with the ability to to, to do this work. The, the increasing numbers of the American people are are, are being clear uh, through polls and otherwise that they are very supportive of this program going forward. Um, and as are more important, uh, the utility industry uh, has been talking about how doable this is and how they want the certainty. They appreciate the signals that this rule sends for where the market is already going. It allows them to focus uh, constructively and positively on investing in the aging power infrastructure that we have in our country. So they see it as an opportunity and it, it's it, for that reason, if for no other, that I think that um, we're all confident that this program will move forward because it's it's just it's pushing along the activities that the that the businesses are already involved in, and it's so consistent with the the way corporate thinking is going. Let's build new infrastructure. Let's invest in an aging fleet. Um, let's let's look at innovative technologies that are becoming more and more cost competitive. Uh, we've had um, uh, solar um, installations uh, uh, um, uh, more than 30 times as much solar power now as there was at the beginning of the Obama administration, more than three times as much wind power. And amazingly, those technologies are becoming cost competitive with fossil fuels. And that's, that's new and recent and very exciting. So that's what the businesses are going to do. They're going to go with the cost effective technology. Well, I think I think um, uh, the United States is showing its clear commitment to this issue uh, by the presence that we have here. Uh, the way President Obama and our other and Secretary Kerry and our other officials here are making clear that the United States is committed to these activities and that we have many, many things underway that are going uh, full force uh, that we are going to deliver on uh, that's, that are consistent with the messages that are being delivered here. We have, as somebody was saying earlier, we have a very robust democracy in the United States. Um, we're not the only country that does by any means. Uh, but that's what you're seeing in action is that robust democracy uh, exercising itself. And, uh, but, but what you're also seeing is um, action after action uh, being taken and being put in process by this administration that we'll follow through on. That's a really good question. Um, I, I think it will look very exciting. Uh, I already mentioned um, the, the huge increase in the amount of solar and wind energy that's coming in. And I think we, we, um, we will see transformation uh, happening. And I think the other exciting thing that's happening is the innovation in technology. So increases in distributed energy, for example. Um, one of the things we made sure in the Clean Power Plan was we want to make sure that the benefits of the clean, low carbon uh, energy system are shared by everybody in the United States and the economic 
um, uh, the positives that come with that and the jobs that come from that investment are shared broadly across our economy and across the people of the United States. And so we, want, we made sure in the Clean Power Plan to direct the states who have the job now of actually implementing it at the state level to make sure they had a process that was inclusive so that everybody got to weigh in. And so we'll have, we're already seeing energy efficiency companies bellying up to the bar saying, uh, we, have a, we have a part to play here and we can be very positive. Um, renewable energy companies, innovative technologies of all sorts because um, the, this, has, this has far reaching tentacles. So anything that a, that a manufacturing facility or a business can do to reduce its energy consumption is going to help that state meet its carbon goal. And all kinds of technologies and approaches can come into play there. So, um, so there will be a, a lot of activity. And I, I, I th I mean, think of where we were 10 or 15 years ago, um, uh, just, just, just now, and look at all the things that it, we wouldn't have predicted. I don't think we'd be where we are right now. So it's almost hard to imagine what we'll, what we'll be like. But I think there'll be more windmills. There'll be more solar panels. Um, there'll um, uh, be more um, uh, sophisticated exchange of clean energy across the broad regions in our country where the grid is interconnected. There will be developments, I'm sure, in things like battery storage, which will be hugely um, important uh, to, to managing energy uh, across, across time and, and, and across the year. So uh, it will be exciting to see. Uh, to, to, to submit it next year. Virtually all of them, if not all of them. So, so people are taking the actions that they feel that they need to take, uh, but at the level of the officials whose job it is to actually implement these plans, we're, we're having discussions with all of them. And all of them are doing the kinds of work that you would do in order to get started on this. And, and, and that just makes sense. And uh, so you hear from some states, well, we're suing, but we think it's smart for us to do a plan anyway. Um, uh, you, you may know that if a state chooses not to go forward with a plan, EPA has the job of putting a plan in place. Um, and uh, states uh, very much would prefer to be in charge of their own plans rather than have EPA do it. And, and so it, even if they're suing us, even if they're objecting to the plan, they're all doing the, the necessary work and they're working with their, their industries and their utilities who want, who want them to move forward. So you don't think would you expect any of them to take the bit of a funnel's advice to just say no? Yeah, I, just, I really don't know. I, I wouldn't want to handicap that. I, I, I really do think that, um, that, uh, that, that the vast majority of states uh, will, will be participating.